Al Imam al Suyuti mentions this, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, and also Ibn Kalli Khan. Ibn Kalli Khan, he mentions it in his Kitab Wafayat al Ayan. Uh, in the Tarjama of uh, Sharaf al Murtada, I'm a Sharaf al Murtadi. I think it's Sharaf al Murtada. This man, Sharaf al Murtada, he came to a shop to buy books. So when he came, he found the book. Um, he found the book Al Jamhara ibn Durayd. He found it, which he wanted to buy. He paid the price for it. And you have to remember those times the books were not, they were not published like the way it is now, where it's printed in a printing house and etc. At those days, if a person wanted your book, they would have to copy it everything with their own hand. So I'd go to your house, I'd write everything from your book, and that's my copy. The copy that he brought was owned by Abu Hassan Ali ibn Ahmed ibn Ali al Fali, rahimahullah. It was owned by him, the great Adib. This great scholar who owned the book, the one who owned it is the one whose book has been sold. Abu Hassan al Fali's kitab has been sold. At the ending of the book, he wrote a line of poetry. Where he says, Anistu biha ishirina hawlan wa bi'tuha. 20 years this book was mine. I owned this book for how many years? For 20 years I owned it. It was my own book. Wa bi'tuha. Now I have sold it. Laqad tala wajdi ba'daha wa hanini. Now that I haven't got this book anymore, I don't own it. My suffering and my pain has become great. And then he goes on saying, وَمَا كَانَ ظَنِّي أَنَّنِي سَأَبِيُعُهَا I never thought in my life that I would come to a day where I would have to sell this book that I love so much. I never thought this would happen. وَلَوْ خَلَّدَتْنِي فِي السُّجُونِ دُيُونِ Even if debt put me in my, into prison, because I couldn't pay a person uh, their debt, I never thought I would reach a point where I would have to send, sell, sell the kitab, Al-Jamhara ibn Durayt. وَلَكِنْ لِضَعْفٍ وَافْتِقَارٍ But because of my need and the weakness that I have now, it forced me to sell the book. And then he goes on to say, وَقَدْ تُخْرِجُ الْحَاجَاتُ يَا أُمَّ مَالِكٍ كَرَائِمَ مِنْ رَبِّمْ بِهِنَّ ضَنِينِ That when things become hard in life for you, sometimes you will do things that were so admirable to you, something you cherished a lot, you would be forced to sell it. So he wrote that poetry at the ending of the book. When Sharaf al-Murtadi al-Murtada saw it, what did he do? He brought the book back to the owner and he gave him the money and he said, keep the book. He went, the, this book means a lot to you. Huh? And this shows you, subhanAllah, the, the hunger and the love that they had for, for knowledge and books. So he, at the last chapter, Khatib al-Baghdadi talks about the fadl.